Hi everybody. So let's talk about, uh, I guess, introduce generative design, uh, why it's important, and then we'll have a look at the PTC solutions in this space. Uh, so really customers are being driven by a need to you know, increase quality, to come up with innovative products, and, uh, and be more productive with the time that they've got. Okay, so as engineers, you know, which is most of the audience today, uh, we want to deliver designs of the right the first time. Uh, we want to, you know, change things up, uh, be very innovative, innovative, and you know, deliver an optimal design to meet the requirements and objectives. Okay, uh, companies want to deliver, you know, innovation as well, and and in a way to differentiate themselves. Uh, they want to do cost reduction and obviously maximise profitability. And they also want to produce you know, high quality designs that, deliver, uh, that reduce the aftermarket costs, okay, warranty repair and, and the like. Okay, so this is where uh, generative design comes into it. Okay, so for those of you who aren't familiar, uh, generative design is basically where uh, the system automatically generates the optimal designs based on a set of requirements that you specify. Okay, so you can see the example down the, the bottom here, which I'll talk about a little bit later on today. But where we've got, um, we're basically letting the computer generate some really weird and wonderful shape based on loads and constraints and other things we might have, materials and stuff, to to give us some sort of optimal solution. Okay, so you know why do we need generative design? Why are people interested? It's become a, a driving force over the past few years. Uh, you know, it's about uh, those business objectives. Okay, to speed up time to market. You know, get new products out there faster. Uh, about reducing the product development costs. Okay, when you're trying to refine designs to get an optimal solution, that can be very time consuming. So the idea of generative is we'll let the computers do all that for us. Uh, you know, we want to differentiate our products, might be lightness, uh, performance, whatever it might be. Uh, we want to, you know, make sure that we're mitigating risk. Okay, so we want to make sure that our designs are, are heavily optimized, but also within the safety factors that we require. And you know, a big one is often products are, are over-engineered. Okay, so that makes them less profitable. So we want to really uh, maximize the, the benefits out of that product. Okay, so generative design is really around, you know, producing the optimal, letting the computer help us generate the optimal design. Okay, so Creo has some generative design solutions, which we're gonna talk about. So there's two there that we showed in the, uh, in the agenda slide. So the first one is the Creo Generative Topology Optimization, or GTO as it's called. So this is really what you run on your desktop inside your Creo session that gener that basically delivers the uh, the topology optimization running inside your Creo environment. Okay, so it's designed for engineers to use to come up with the optimal solution based on constraints, objectives, loads, manufacturing processes. Okay, so you can see again the, the progression example down below which we'll, uh, which we'll look at. Okay, so this runs on your desktop inside your Creo session that you're using as uh, as a normal engineer, okay, to produce that kind of result for you. So the addition to that, or on top of that, is the Creo Generative Design Extension, or GDX. Okay, so this is an add-on, and I'll talk about this a bit more, but uh, the idea is basically, if you've got loads and loads of different scenarios that you want to analyze, uh, we can essentially use cloud computing to run all of those together and then interrogate and select the optimal design, okay? So uh, as I said, it, it requires uh, GTO, so it's an add-on on top of that. So the difference, as it explains here, so we run GTO, Generative Topology Optimization, we run that locally on the user's machine to optimize geometry, and we solve for an active design criteria, which might contain constraints and materials and things, okay? So you can define multiples inside your model, but you can only run or solve one at a time, okay? Whereas GDX solves multiples at the same time with all of the different requirements. So that's the beauty of cloud, is that we can um, scale up our compute power to solve for that, okay? So basically there's that strategy that lets you choose which way you wanna do it, okay? So uh, we can have customers that might just wanna start with, uh, just run it on the desktop, okay? So you'll do all of your setup uh, on, on your desktop inside Creo. Uh, you can run the optimization inside Creo using the active set of criteria. Uh, we can then build the model uh, from that and then you know continue our design. We can do further ver verification, validation, and simulation tools, whatever it might be. Okay. And that's a perfectly leg legitimate way of working. Okay. So uh, 
The other option is if you want more capabilities, if you've got lots of different things that you're looking at, then we can add on the generative design extension. So we still do all of our model setup uh, in Creo, and then we upload that to the PTC server, uh, where it then runs all of the studies and produces options for us that we can then filter and compare. And once we've decided on the best option, we can then send that back to our Creo session and build the finished model and continue on our way.